Let's give everyone a round of applause for Len. Uh, Len's uh, reading was brought to you by Holograms. Len fans reading was brought to you by Holograms. Uh, uh, lightweight uh, marshmallow cereal with seasonal oil. They're almost delicious. Let's give a round of applause for Holograms. Next year is a perfectly male human being. Um, uh, he was uh, the result of a Big Bang billions and billions of years ago. Uh, he has full use of all of his features. And let's all give a round of applause for Brian Campbell. extended deep inside her rectal cavity, I made a gentle pinching, squeezing, rolling motion like expressing one's desire for more money or cleaning out the last of a near empty tube of toothpaste. In this way I expressed Mother Teresa's left anal gland. A black worm-like paste began to coil itself under my fingernail, smelling of bowel cancer and peppermint. Uh, I'm sorry, context. Okay, uh, so this is a story about... Uh, um, this is a story I wrote a little while ago, I'm sorry, I just, uh, my phone, uh, it's, you know, I'd say it's average in terms of intellect. Uh, if I had to assign it a phone IQ, I guess I'd call it like in the 75th percentile. Um, and I don't really twiddle or like face mash or, um, you know, I'm trying to be funny and uh, presentable, but it's hard. Uh, I just, what I'm trying to say is that I just found out. Um, and I'm still trying to come to terms with it. My brother, he lives in New York, so he found out later than most anyway, and he texted me, and I remember last time it happened, uh, during 9-11, and it's not the same thing at all, I know, but it's a similar feeling. Um, and I missed the whole thing. I was just walking around at recess, and people were crying, and I thought they were just having a bad day. Uh, and it wasn't until later, you know, much later, almost at the end of the school day, that I, somebody asked me if my brother was okay, and I, I, I thought to ask him, you know, I didn't know. Uh, he wasn't even in New York at the time, but he was, uh, this is a true story, by the way. He was on the East Coast, and I guess, you know, we just thought that was as good as anywhere. Um, but of course, he was okay. Uh, I just don't deal with these kinds of things very well, uh, meaning I don't deal with them at all. I, they don't affect me like they should, or like the media tells me they should. But this one, anyway, Spencer, that's my brother's name, my brony. Uh, my brother's not a brony, I don't know why I said that. Um, but he was actually asking me just now if I was okay, and I just realized, uh, are all of you okay? Uh, and, like, you look okay. Like, I'm not saying that you don't look okay, but uh, it's hard to tell because I guess you've all had more time to digest this than I have. Um, it's still, I, I don't mean to be rude or condescending or anything, but it's going to sound really awkward when I say this, but, you know, what are you all doing here? Uh, I mean, it's great that you're here, uh, in reality, right, but that you're brave enough to be here instead of at home with your families, but, um, you know, when you hear the word collapse, right, uh, it's never a good word, it's never something you want to hear. Uh, I mean, what are things that can collapse, right? You got your bridges, you got your skyscrapers, and there's political systems, economies, lungs, and, and flan, right? Um, <laughs> I just realized I never told you the title of the story. So it's called Flowering Pudenda, a Mother Teresa story. <laughs> I don't know what it's worth. And this thing, you, this thing right here that I wrote, I mean, I, that's why we're here, right? Um, and I'm sorry it sounds really arrogant, but it's true in a way. Um, and I just, you know, this thing that I wrote, this thing that we all wrote, uh, and what does that mean? Uh, I mean, what sort of good is that going to do you? The funny thing is that when I wrote this, I mean, of course, I thought, you know, this is, this is going to be so great, this is so profound, right? Um, and, 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 you know, or at least moving, right? Or at least a little funny. Um, but, but when I wrote it, that was like, what, a few days ago? Um, and, I mean, I, when I last looked it over, and, and it's like it was from another life. And I know that sounds like a horrible cliche, uh, like something out of a Michael Bay movie, uh, or like Twilight. But isn't that also, you know, a little bit profound? Uh, not Twilight. I mean, Twilight's like a real piece of shit, if you want to talk about reality, right? 
But I think that these kind of huge, you know, it's kind of, I, I don't want to say paradigm shift, um, but I think that's what they do to us, right? They make everything, everything that we say sound like it's from a Michael Bay movie. Uh, and, you know, maybe it is. Maybe that's a big joke. Uh, that those are the only things we can say. You can't say anything except maybe, you know, thank you all for being here, and uh, why are you here, really? Um, and when's it going to sink in? Uh, or when are we going to stop sinking, I guess, would be a better analogy. But, uh... You know what, fuck it. Uh, I'm not going to read this shit. I mean, it's wildly inappropriate for one thing. I mean, there's stuff in here. I thought it was so funny, so, you know, absurd. But I think absurdism may have ceased to exist as a thing, you know? Uh, like that stuff about iguana dildos. I mean, look at this line. <laughs> Sprouting penises like tomahawk missiles. I couldn't really read that kind of thing now, could I? Like flowering ovaries in a ten-foot-long daisy chain, gurgling the goose's neck like a noose. What does that even mean anymore? Uh, in this new context, I mean, we're going to have to redefine everything, right? I guess it's a job for the theorists out there. I mean, uh, I guess that's what I mean about Michael Bay. Uh, but my god, I mean, we can't even talk about girdling anymore uh, without crossing some sort of line, right? As a concept, right? I mean, I don't want to subject you to this shit, you know. This, there's a line here about fallopian Mondays, and aren't they all going to be fallopian Mondays from now on? Like, isn't today a fallopian Monday? And I recognize that it's like Saturday, but it's a metaphor. Um, or I thought it was. And I don't want to harp on this Michael Bay thing, but... Really, uh, doesn't it all seem so oddly prescient, you know? I, I mean, I know that they say hindsight is twenty twenty, and that's another fucking stupid cliche. But what I mean to say is that him and, and M. Night and, and Catherine, Catherine Hardwick, the director of the Twilight Saga, and I don't want to include Lucas, but he had a hand in it too, and Ed Wood and Phil Tucker. What I'm saying is, uh, hey, is this making any sense? Okay, so you see how they predicted this, and at the same time, they couldn't have predicted it. Not the way it turned out anyway, but the whole concept, the notion, it was like they were, we were wishing for it. And it was, I, 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 of course I shouldn't forget, you know, uh, Francis Lawrence, but, you know, who remembers Francis Lawrence? He's going to be remembered now, I tell you. And there's a part of me, a serious part of me, who wants to go all conspiracy theory about it. That's a normal reaction, right? Like after 9-11, after JFK got shot. I mean, when we put a man on the moon, like Neil Armstrong, Again, that's probably a closer analogy, although it doesn't have the same resonance. But how long has this been planned, really? I don't mean, you know, I don't think that any one person or organization could have planned this, but I, I, I just, I, we don't think that way. Uh, can we? Uh, but when you look back on maybe the history of this country, or, or the history of, I don't know, uh, I don't want to say the human race, but maybe it, it is that bad. I mean, how could, we have, how could we not have seen the signs? And there's another one. I think, like, M. Night is the only one of us who really got it. Okay, so I've talked way too long, and I didn't even read this stupid story. Uh, you know, really all I want to do right now is just be silent. Uh, just not be a part of this fucking idiotic Michael Bay script and just, you know, be silent.